How are we doing? Today we are going to talk about complex number simplification. So I'll share my screen with you. Write the quotient in the standard form A plus BI, which is a representation of the complex number, of a complex number. A is the real part, B is the imaginary part, which is the coefficient of I, which is the imaginary number. So here we have minus five minus square root of minus four divided by five minus square root of minus nine. This can be simplified as the numerator minus five minus square root of minus four, we can write as square root of four times square root of minus one. Similarly, the denominator becomes five minus square root of nine times square root of minus one. Now square root of minus one is I, imaginary number. So hence the numerator becomes minus five minus two I because square root of four is two and i is square root of minus one. And the denominator becomes five minus three i because the square root of nine is three. Now, in order to simplify this, we will multiply the numerator and denominator by the conjugate of the denominator. By conjugate, I mean the same terms as in the denominator. Only difference is we will multiply by five plus three i. So instead of minus 3i, we are going to multiply by the numerator and denominator by the conjugate of i minus 3i, which is 5 plus 3i in the numerator and denominator. Then we will foil it out in the numerator. That is, we multiply the first terms first. So minus 5 times my, uh, 5, the two first terms, minus 5 times 5 in the second uh, in the second factor, so minus five times five is minus 24, five. Next one is outside term, so minus five times three i, which is minus 15 i. Then inside term, which is minus two i times five, which is minus 10 i. And then the last term, which is minus two i times plus three i, which is minus six i squared divided by now this is a minus b times a plus b. And that is a square minus b square. Here a is five. So five square is 25 minus b square, which is three i square, which is nine i square. Now we know i square is equal to minus one because i is square root of minus one. If you square both sides, i square is equal to minus one. Hence we will substitute minus one for i squared. So it becomes the numerator minus 25, then minus 15, minus 10 i, both negative. So they add up minus 25 i. And then minus 6 i squared, i squared itself is minus 1. So minus 6 times minus 1 becomes plus 6. Similarly, in the denominator, it is 25 minus 9 i squared itself is minus 1. Minus 9 times minus 1 is plus 9. So the numerator is minus 25 plus 6. 25 is greater than 6. So from 25, you subtract 6, which is 19. But the greater number has a negative sign. So it is minus 19 minus 25 in the numerator. In the denominator, 25 plus 9 is 34. Now you separate the real part and the imaginary part by dividing each term in the numerator by 34, which is the term in the denominator. So the first term becomes minus 19 over 34 and then minus 25 over 34 times i, which is the coefficient of the imaginary part. This is the same form as a plus bi that we were looking for. Here a is minus 19 over 34, b is minus 25 over 34. So I'll stop here today. If you have any questions, shoot me a comment and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. And thanks for watching and subscribe to my channel because 
every day I'm coming back with new problems, new solutions, which should be helpful. Okay. And please, uh, again, thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing to my channel. I'll see you next time with a new problem, new solution. Have a nice day.